Hello friends, how are you? My name is Ari Thurger and today I'm going to make a book review on runes, the Icelandic book of Futhark. The Icelandic Magic Company sent me this copy and it was a wonderful surprise to see this gift on my mailbox. Thank you so much. Now, before we start this review, let me show you the book. Runes, the Icelandic book of Futhark, edited and written by Teresa Njordvik. She has the same name as my mother, how sweet. <laughs> as to be expected, this book has a very good presentation, a clean layout, so to speak, which facilitates understanding its contents and exploring its pages without much confusion. The cover of the book immediately catches our attention, with the title itself written in Icelandic, uh, using Icelandic runes, and in the back you will find the exact same text in a rune circle, Runir Islandska Vukin on Futhark, which is Icelandic for precisely Runes Icelandic Book of Futhark. Those who are familiar with Scandinavian culture, particularly the runes, without a doubt will immediately focus their attention on the book cover, uh, because uh, there is always a certain mystical feeling when looking at runic symbols, so I think it was a very interesting idea to include the title of the book in Icelandic runes. Without opening the book, I'm sure uh, the cover itself already makes you want to translate the runes. The content of the book itself is divided in three systems of the runic alphabet, the Elder Futhark, the Younger Futhark and the Icelandic Futhark, each of them divided by three heaths. Uh, so you will never get lost in this book uh, because its structure is very easy to follow. It, it doesn't get easier than this. So now let's talk a bit about it. Certainly there are many books out there about the runes, but none quite like this. I wouldn't say this is a book for those who are very much familiar with the runes and seek extra information beyond the basic notions, but I think for beginners this is the perfect book. As I've said, it's divided by three systems, the Elder Futhark, Younger Futhark and the Icelandic Futhark. In regular books it's always the Elder Futhark and you don't get to explore other systems, which is important, uh, especially the Younger Futhark which was greatly used as an actual alphabet and it's perhaps the one with the greatest changes in the composition of the runes themselves to fit or accompany the historical changes of the Scandinavian languages. And then, of course, in this book it will introduce you to the Icelandic Futhark, which is even rarer to work with. There is no great flourishment of the text for each runic symbol. It goes straight to the point without uh, losing the very essence of the runes themselves. Uh, you have the rune, uh, its name, also translated into runes, uh, its meaning, keywords uh, that express what the rune is associated with, a short text, accurate, concise, it draws the main picture, so to speak, and then you have the runic poem uh, to which it belongs to. Each runic system is divided into three heath, heithir, rune rows. So every time you get to the end of one rune, rune row, it will warn you that you shall enter the second one and which runes will be on focus. So you, you will never lose track, you are always easily following the sequence of the runes. This facilitates the study of everyone who is starting to get their hands on the runes and also to those more familiar with the runes um, sometimes we tend to forget a couple of details and this will also facilitate remembering. It's quite easy to explore and go straight to what you want 
without losing time, searching for it and lose yourself in the text. It's a bit expensive, it is, it's the truth, but I honestly think it's worth it and I recommend. I just wish this book existed 16 years ago or so and it would have facilitated a lot the study of the runes. At least the basic notions and basic information to get you started. I'm surprised with this book uh, because I'm the type of person who always goes to the most complicated aspects of everything. In life, I make a storm out of a glass of water, as they say in my country. So I'm really surprised with the presentation of this book. So easy to follow, so well presented, without making a great mess of everything. And running through this book just gives me a sense of relief. It gives a bit of order to this chaotic mind. <laughs> the simplicity is stunning and very clever, very sensitive. It doesn't matter if you are taking your first steps into the rune lore or if you are already a master of the runes. This is definitely a book you should include in your private library if you can. Uh, it will facilitate a lot your studies. And oh, if you are a person like myself who always transforms the tiniest insignificant things into the most complex paradoxical phenomenon possible, then I'm sure you might feel a bit tired and this book will give you some comfort. <laughs> it's quite pleasant to once in a while have something to show you that not everything is as complex as we make it. All right, my dear friends, thank you so much for watching and a very special thanks to the Icelandic Magic Company for sending me this gift. It was a very, very pleasant surprise and I hope this review was useful. Down below in the description, I will leave the link to their website so you can get your copy. Once again, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. And as always, talk for the door.